from the Redneck Garage. Well, the progress on the Jeep has been slowed down just a little bit because of some rain. And I've been dealing with some adverse conditions. So I thought I'd share a little video of what I've been dealing with here uh, that's not Jeep related. So let's take a look at that. So I could tell it's going to rain. I buttoned everything up out in the, the uh, driveway, but Jennifer calls me into the TV and says, Hey, man, you better look at this. We, this may be our last day on Earth, and you can see all that red around Franklin. It wasn't going to be a good day. <laughs> all the kids' friends started running home before it really hit hard, and uh, I was laughing at them. Alright, so last night my Jeep was parked here, which looks like a big shrub, doesn't it? And you can see the Jeep over there in the driveway. I went to the grocery store and I parked it over there. And last night our tree split and it fell down right there, which is awesome, huh? Jennifer said, oh, I think lightning hit it. No, this is rot, man. You can see where it just started to, uh, right here at that split, eventually break. It's a Bradford pear, so that's what's going to happen. So now I get to start cutting on a stupid tree. And then the question is, do I cut down the rest of it, or do I just trim it up, or what do I do? But main thing is get this stupid thing out of the yard. So that's great. But the Jeep was spared. The YJ came out unscathed from the tree issue. So that was so that was pretty cool. Very fortuitous. <laughs> So I cut a lot of the weight off of the tree because of the <laughs> lack of trunk. And uh, that's what a tree looks like in the ditch. And the city should come by and pick it up with the claw thing and they grind it up and everything. So that's cool. Um, run the lawnmower over it and nobody will even know except for the tree looks like crap now. Awesome. So every once in a while having teenagers is cool because I said to them when they got home with their friends, hey, get out in the front yard <laughs> and start moving this piece of the tree out to the street. And uh, what was cool is our city actually came and picked it up with this big claw truck. And that was neat. But anyway, all that aside, I got half a tree in my front yard and I'm waiting for the rest of it to fall. <laughs> on the Jeep TJ project, uh, tonight I worked on taking off some brake lines, working on uh, uh, putting some croil, uh, the oil that creeps, a uh, penny treading oil on all the bolts and the nuts so I can start taking that rear suspension down. Everything that's coming up is kind of interrelated because you've got a lift kit that goes on, so you're replacing some parts in that, putting new springs on. You also have brake assembly parts. Uh, I've got all new brake lines that we're going to be putting on, so we'll be working on the rear brakes, getting that cleaned up. While you're there, you might as well go ahead and drain the oil and the differential. Uh, so we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I just thought I'd share with you a little bit on a beautiful Thursday. Today is Thursday. And... Uh, Hopefully, by this weekend, it'll start clearing up a little bit so we can get out there and work on it. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.